Welcome everybody, I'm Carlos, digital artist. In this tutorial I will show you four different ways of painting clouds with Rebel. I used Rebel 7, but this can be done on any previous version. I will make the four variants on the same scene, a girl watching the sky. I start with the normal style. This may be considered the standard one. I used oils, but it can be done with oils or dry media. This style is suitable for any type of clouds. It consists by applying brush strokes, then blend them. I will paint it with only one brush. This is the round soft 2 in oils category. I always paint clouds in a new layer just over the sky layer. Sometimes you must erase some areas. It's easier to erase on a new layer rather than painting again the sky. This style it's pretty easy. I start applying brush strokes with white. You can use pure white if you wish. Usually isn't recommended to use pure white. But in this case everything will be blended, so pure white will become a very light gray. I just paint the shapes of the clouds. I don't care about details. I add the shadows with different shades of gray. I start blending everything. I blend more in the bottom of the clouds, and less on the top. This way looks more integrated with the sky. And this is the first method. It's pretty easy to do, it may be considered a beginner way of painting clouds. You can use any brush, but the ones with round shapes and a small amount of bristles are better. It offers a look of soft clouds. If you wish the clouds look sharper, use the blender tool with less pressure of you stylus. You can be as detailed as you wish. I don't recommend making the clouds with too much details. Instead, focus on making more interesting cloud shapes. If you want to add some highlights, create a new layer and use the layer blending mode overlay. Clip that layer to the clouds layer. Select the white color and apply some brush strokes on the edges or any area if you wish to add more details. Then, use the blender to get rid of the sharp edges. Still an overlay layer, select a dark gray color and apply some brush strokes. This will make the already dark areas more darker, do this only if you want the shadows of your clouds look darker. And this is it for the first style. Just keep adding more details in clouds if you wish. This is the second way of painting clouds. I call it concept style because this how paint the concept artists the clouds. This is a very loose and creative style. It's excellent to create your own clouds and being more imaginative. It consists of apply very loose and fast brush strokes. We apply different shapes and directions to paint the clouds. We also use the same brush in erase and blend modes to create even more interesting shapes. This style is very stylistic, full of sharp edges. If you like the shapes of the clouds, blend them with any soft brush to look more realistic. I do it with oils because they have nice blending when you use high oiliness value. You can use the express oils if you wish to get rid of the impasto 
but you may need to copy some brushes from oils to express oils category. An alternative is to lower the impasto value of visual settings at minimum. For this style, avoid the use of round brushes. The best default ones are the knives. Specifically, I like the knife oily and knife smooth. Apply brush strokes loose and fast. Here you can use the colors in any order. Blend them if necessary. Remember to use the same brush in blend mode, don't use the blend tool. Use the same brush in eraser mode to tweak the shapes of the clouds. Here the key is to be imaginative and experimental. If you don't like how it looks, erase some areas, or blend them anything. The edges must be very sharp. This adds style and interest. When painting with this style, I don't create new layers. It's better to paint everything on the same layers, adding colors here and dragging everything around. You usually make big brush strokes, but you can also make small ones to add more variety. You can start using layer modes when you are satisfied and sure you will not change any shape. Use the same workflow as usual. This is overlay for the most part. This mode is very interesting with this visual style because it adds some color shift. You can tweak the colors if you wish. I did it to change the cloud colors to match the colors from the bottom. And this is it for the concept style. Be as loose and imaginative as possible. Don't use it to copy cloud references. This is the style of painting clouds with watercolor. To be honest, it's difficult to paint clouds with watercolor. In addition, there's not a specific way of doing it. You are bound to the random nature of the water and pigments running around. But this can also be very useful to create unique and interesting effects. I will show you how I did it. Select watercolor brushes that create interesting shapes. Don't use flat or round brushes, they will create boring shapes. Make sure the brush is at maximum values of water and opacity. This is to make easier the pigment runs around. Put the canvas tilt to the bottom. This will make the pigment go to the bottom, leaving a transparent gradient on the top. Paint here and there, trying to create interesting shapes. If you wish, pause the diffusion before you start painting, by pressing the shortcut D, press D again to start the diffusion. When you consider the shapes are interesting enough, block the transparency of the layer. Make sure the rewet setting is at minimum value. We change the color to gray, don't dry the layer yet. We will paint some shadows. As canvas and brush are wet, everything will flow to the bottom. Dry the layer when you consider is good. It will not need to be perfect, we will make more tweaks to make it more interesting. I used a soft eraser to erase some areas. I tried to make the top areas look softer and don't have any visible sharp edge. I create a new layer in multiply mode and clip it to the clouds layer. I add orange everywhere and some black. I let them everything flow to the bottom. I dried the layer and changed the color a little bit. Then, I merged to cloud layers. You can use the liquify tool to tweak anything. Don't use this tool too much, just to push some areas here and there. I created a new layer in overlay mode. 
I will use it to add some lights in the bottom of the clouds. Remember that, when you use overlay, it will shift the beneath colors. So I use white to avoid the color shift. Sometimes I use orange or yellow, in case I want to add the color shift. If you want to have more control over the lights, use the screen mode instead of overlay. This is the method I used. I did more tweaks, here and there, using the same method again and again. I tweaked the top three clouds to look more stylized. Finally, I tweaked the colors until I'm satisfied. I liked how it looks with the original orange and black colors. But in order to be more harmonized with the rest of the artwork, I lowered the intensity a little bit. And this is it for the watercolor style. This is the last method, and maybe the most original one. It consists of using pastel brushes to paint the clouds. Then use the water tool to soft everything. And final step, use the blow tool to stylize and create windy clouds. I use pastel because it's more affected by water than any other tool. Even more than watercolor itself. It also adds some grain, which generates some interesting effects when the pigment flows around. I paint the clouds with any pastel brush. I make rough brush strokes, but I try to create the right shapes, because it will be harder to make tweaks later on. The same applies to the colors. It will be not easy to make tweaks. So I paint the lights and colors as if it was the final art. I selected a color palette that harmonizes well with the rest of the artwork. I used pink, purple and white. Don't use in blending mode or the blending tool. It will be good to use it if this was a pastel painting. But in this case, everything will blend when we use the water tool. When I finish the painting, I select the water tool and turn off the canvas tilt by clicking on the central knot. I wet the area with the water tool. Only by doing that, it will soft everything. You can stop here if you wish. This way you will get fluffy clouds. I select the blow tool. Then I drag the wet areas. I do it using the same direction of the clouds. In the case of the bottom clouds, I drag to left and right. For the top clouds, I drag to the top, but at the same time following the direction of the clouds. Here you can dry the layer at any moment. The more time you wait, the more the pigment will run and blend, and it will look more softer. Finally, I select the Soft Blend tool. I use it to soft some areas. You may notice the Water tool sometimes creates an accumulation of pigment. I also use the Blend tool to tweak it. I added some highlights in the bottom of the clouds. I use the airbrush tool, because it looks soft. Finally, I tweak the colors a little bit. And this is it for the pastel and water style. It's easy to do, don't have so many steps. But sometimes it's harder to control. Make some tests, until you get used to it. These were the four ways of painting clouds in Rebel. I hope this is useful to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.